Okay, now we will go to the third part of that weight loss. Now we'll talk about how the uh, quota will affect the dead weight loss. So again, we look at the demand and supply curve. This is the demand, this is the supply, and this is the equilibrium point. And at equilibrium, the market is go going to produce this amount of quantity, and the market is going to price the product at this level. Now, let's say if the government had a quota on the production, it means that it is the quota that allow, allows to produce is less than the equilibrium quantity. Then we can draw a line here. Now at this quota level, then if we look at the supply curve, since they are only allowed to produce this uh, amount of quota, they actually can just price it at this level. But however, for the demand, the actually from the demand curve, you will see that since the quantity is so low, people are willing to buy at a much higher prices. Right? So as a result, this will be the real price level for this product. At this level, this is the real price instead of this old price. Now, before there is quota, we know that the consumer supers will be in this region. Right? And then the producer supers will be in this region. But now since there is quota and the price is priced at this level, so as a result, the producer surplus increase a lot from here to here. So this region will become the producer surplus and the consumer surplus is reduced significantly. Again, we see that in the this region, the nothing is produced, and this is the dead weight loss of the whole society. This is because the production resources is not fully utilized. And of course, from this graph, you will see that the producer actually need to have the quota imposed by the government because they increase their surplus a lot.